Hi, this is Cindy Marin with Digging Magazine, and welcome to the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. We're here on Main Street in front of the Egyptian Theater in Park City, Utah, the hub of Sundance. Hi, my name is Matthew Lillard, and you are watching Dig In. We're at Sundance Film Festival, and we are the creative team behind Halfway There. This is Nick Morton, the writer. This is Rick Rosenthal, the director and producer, and I'm an actor. You guys should watch the interview that you're about. I mean, this the interview you're about to watch is going to blow your mind. So dig in and watch it. Rick and I were sort of talking. Uh, we. Uh, we sort of alighted on this idea of a sober living house as a fun place to set a series because people from all walks of life end out in recovery, whether you're rich or poor or wherever you're from. It just seemed like there'd be a great cross-section of society there. And then um, <clears throat> I actually got sober, decided it was a project that I really wanted to write, and uh, worked on a bunch of drafts. <laughs> And you know, eventually we got to a place where you know we felt it was good enough to start uh, showing to cast, really. Well, first of all, these two gentlemen are like two of my favorite people in this industry. We've worked together several times, and they produced a movie I directed called Fat Kid Rules the World. And so this, these are my dear friends. So anytime you have an opportunity to work with people you love, it's it's you cherish those moments. Um, and then for me, Jimmy Bishop, the lead character of the show. Uh, is a character that's very complex. He plays in all tapestries of emotions. It's, he's funny at times. He's earnest. He's charming. It's uh, you know he's really high emotional stakes for the pilot. And for me, in a half hour, you know, in a show like this, to get a part that has that kind of richness of character um, was really exciting. And the idea that you could play a character that has these ups and downs over the course of you know hopefully. Not only a series, but multiple years of a series, uh, it was really, really exciting. Sure. Yeah, I think as an actor, um, one of the great things about Jimmy Bishop, as an actor, you're looking for things that push your ability, that challenge you. And I do think that when you're, um, when you get such a great script and working with a great director, you're, you, and the given circumstances of that project offer you these opportunities that, you know, in reading at the first blush, you're worried if you can pull it off. You're worried if you can do it in a way that not only you're proud of, but the audience will like and, and hopefully enjoy. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. And I felt like I was in actually, I was in great hands with a director who's, that now I care about, is incredibly talented, has been around for a for for, a, for he's venerable and has you know and, and he knows me well and can you know I was in good hands and I knew that he would get a performance that not only he was happy with but he was that I would be proud of I think you develop a shorthand and um, and things move in a certain way there's anticipation there's instincts um, there's a there's a language um, that's already been established and for me who um, would appear to be articulate but actually is somewhat nonverbal, um, I sort of like working with with less talk and and more I mean one of the things that's really great is um, sitting behind you is the cinematographer and I've known him for a long time and what's amazing about working with him often is I never finish a sentence because I say you know I'm thinking of he says yeah I've already planned for that I mean, I love working that way. And when you talk to actors, sometimes you can direct literally just with a look rather than a lot of conversation. I think sometimes the more conversation, the more the idea dissipates. And so when you work with a team, you're already in that groove. You're already working at a higher level of communication. And I think that not just things going faster, but things also, I think, go deeper. I mean, I um, we we had the initial idea, and then you know, I think there's there's a huge part of writing that is a deeply lonely process, and I did a lot of that, and then I you know I would get I would get the script to a point where I felt like, oh, here is um, here's something I feel good about, and then with this project, I really it's the first TV pilot I've ever written, and I any good note that came 
I incorporated it no matter what. And, um, you know, obviously I had lots of good notes from Rick and, um, <clears throat> you know, eventually we, we felt like this, this script has all those things that Rick was talking about that we, you know, hope to find in our first TV show. So. Um, it's, there is a big difference of working on stage versus working in a movie or television. You're, I always equate it to if you're um, a rock star is like being in the theater, you know, performing it in front of people. There's a, a visceral reaction when you're on stage. Whereas when you're doing a TV show, it's very quiet. It's like, you know, a, a studio musician. You know, both are great jobs. They both provide you different things. Um, I, I think my sense of humor comes from being a, you know an overweight kid from the Midwest with a learning disability I mean all those things sort of you know as a young man you develop as a sen as a um, as a piece of armor you know it, to protect yourself from the world and in high school I had a very you know I didn't have the easiest time in high school and so your sense of humor was developed and my sense of humor was developed to protect me from being hurt and then you know I think for a show like this and um, I do think that there is this incredible richness to the comedy. The stakes, the given circumstances of the show are so high. The emotional jeopardy of everyone in that space who has hit rock bottom and trying to hold on to sobriety and trying to fight their way towards what they want a better life to be. And it's, you know, it's really high emotional stakes. And I think that there's this, this really lovely humor that comes out of that um, that was captured unbelievably exquisitely from Nick and then executed by Rick, so. I think we're, I think the theme for us is a little bit that there are no good guys and bad guys. Uh, certainly in this pilot, there, there are people searching for answers and um, coming up against life obstacles and addiction certainly is an obstacle. And, um, you know, it becomes a test of character as to how one faces those obstacles. And sometimes they f people face them well for a long period of time and, and then fail and then get back up and face them again. And other people seem to have one fall and it sort of changes their attitude and it changes their life. And they don't face that uh, dilemma again for a long time. And, and you don't know when you first meet people and, and especially early in recovery, you don't know which of those people will flourish and and for whom uh therapy and uh that kind of sober living will really reinforce their path and other people who seem like oh they're skating through it and it's going to be easy and then they hit some unforeseen event and it throws them off so i think it's this roller coaster that particularly in this environment uh, is really interesting to look at I just wanted one, you know, one thing that we haven't mentioned here is also at the, you know, the heart of this story is a story between a, uh, a mother and, and her son. I mean, Blythe Danner, you know, and, and her you know, incredible performance in this. And I think that that's, that's another thing that like, you know, every, every person has to come to terms with, like, what are their values um, in the absence of their parents or as they grow up, you know, are they going to choose to, um, define a set of values that that are distinct for themselves as adults um i our sundance has been amazing i think that we all feel honored and privileged to be a part of this new division it's a section what's it called it's like a new program yeah new program at sundance so it's the first year they've done um episodic uh and so I, I think that we're all really excited to be a part of that and to be part of that opening episode, uh, episodic night of screenings, right? Yeah. And um, look, I think that, we're, you know, look, as you walk down the street, you have incredible filmmakers and great actors and DPs and the whole, this whole town is a buzz of people who are doing what we love to do. So you're being surrounded by people that um, are sort of on the same journey you are. And there's a, there's a camaraderie and a fellowship there that is part of the great thing about Sundance. It's this one little town in the middle of the mountains that collects this incredible population of, of creatives. And, you know, it's exciting. <laughs>